Creative friends, it's Christmas season again, and this is me. I'm here to show you how to design this creative Christmas party flyer in Photoshop. And this is going to be a step by step tutorial, so watch till the very end. Here are all the resources I'll be using to create this amazing tutorial. Comment, I like it to get a link to all these resources. So, with that being said, let's get into Photoshop. So this is the flyer we are going to recreate and to do this I'm going to click on file and click on new to open up this dialog box then I'm going to click on print and then I'm going to choose A5 then you can leave all these preset details as default and click on create then it opens up this canvas just like this and these are all the resources I'll be using for this tutorial so I'm going to click on the first one and drag and drop it in Photoshop and this opens up just like this so I'm going to click on OK and next thing I'm going to do is to add a layer max to this and then I'm going to use my brush tool to brush on this part of the design just like that and I'm going to brush that so we have something that looks like this then I'm going to click on my background layer and click on the plus icon to add a new layer under the main background. Head on to your paint bucket tool and click on that and hold alt on your keyboard to activate this eyedrop tool. Then I'm going to pick any of this ash color tone, pick any of that and then fill it on this layer one. Okay, so we have something that looks like this. Then head on to where you have the top layer, click on that and click on your plus icon to add a layer on top of that. Then go back to your brush tool and set your brush color to white. And then we're going to increase the brush size just like that and then i'm going to paint on this area just like that just click on that to get this white glow on the center of the design just like that but then we don't want the glow to cover up the image so we still have the natural colors on the image so for that i'm going to add a layer max on the white glow then make sure your foreground is set to black then i'm going to paint around this image area just like this so we still have these shiny colors on the image just like that next up i'm going to type december here then i'm going to change the color to black then i can scale this up just like that then the fonts i'll be using for this is going to be poppins i'll be using poppins for this so i can choose uh um, poppins semi bold this looks very cool on your property bar you can increase the tracking a little let's say um 150 is perfect then i'm going to decrease the size like that transform reduce the size and place it around here at the center just like that then i'm going to type christmas here then i'm going to change the font to um startup okay this is it right here increase the size a little that's cool this time around i'm going to reduce the tracking to zero that's very very cool press ctrl t to transform increase the size and place it around here hit on ok next up i'm going to duplicate this december layer by pressing ctrl j to duplicate the layer and click on the duplicate layer and bring it down just like that then i'm going to change this text to party so we have December Christmas party. Then I'm going to reduce the tracking to zero just like that. And then I'm going to change the font to poppins black. So we have something as bold as this. I'm going to increase the size and place it around here. And this looks really cool and nice. Okay, it's on okay. Okay, let's play around with colors here. For December, I'm going to give it a green color. So let's choose a better color for December. I'm going to use a green color just like this. Uh, that's cool. Then for Christmas, I'm going to give it a red gradient. So click on Christmas and click on add layer style and click on gradient overlay. Then on the gradient, we're going to have red here and on this other side we're going to have black here then i'm going to scale this up okay so we have something like this like that it's on okay and pretty much i don't want the black to be up here so i'm going to click on the gradient overlay again to pop out this layer style then i'm going to click on reverse so that we have this on the reverse side of things then i'm going to adjust the gradient like this so we have something that looks like this it's on okay so i want to copy the same gradient to party 
and to do that i'm going to hold on alt and click on the gradient overlay and bring it to where we have party and leave so we have that same gradient on party next up i want to play around with my brush tool so i'm going to click on my brush tool add a new layer to do this then click on your brush and for this i'm going to set my hardness to 100 and then my size can just be as default okay so let's see this is the brush size it's too big okay so i'm going to deactivate my cap lock so i can see how the brush size looks like reduce the brush size to let's say okay eight point is perfect okay so i'm going to do something that looks like this okay so you may not get it perfectly but let's try it again okay so you just have to draw like this it's not still perfect so i'm going to try it again it's not still perfect let's try this again oh my god <laughs> uh we still try that okay so this one i'm going to try to flatten that is not still perfect so i'm going to try it again uh okay it's not straight okay I think I'm going to do it this way. Okay, so let me rotate this. I think I'll be going with this. So when you rotate that, hold on shift and squeeze that together just like that. So we have something that looks like this. So we have something that looks like this, okay? This is really perfect. So that's what we get so on this i'm going to change the color to okay i'm going to give this the same gradient so hold alt and bring your gradient and drop there so we have something like that it looks very cool take it very close so this is what we get so i'm going to highlight all these layers from december to where we have this sketch here and press ctrl g to group then press ctrl t to transform then hold ctrl and shift on your keyboard to adjust this this way so we have something that looks slanted like this so you can place this at the center around here and this looks really cool and nice hit on ok once you are done with that and next thing i'm going to do is to add a um, glow effect on this so i'm going to click on my layer style and click on outer glow and for this outer glow I'm going to change the color to red because I want it to be red glow just like that but this glow is not spreading out very well so I'll reduce the size at first increase the spread a little increase the size again reduce that okay okay so for this glow I'm going to set it to multiply and then I'm going to increase the size again okay I think this is pretty much really really cool then we can play around with range to see how it looks like so this is perfect for the range okay so we leave that just like that okay so we have so the size is 18 and the range is uh, let's say 53 now hit on okay and pretty much this is what we get and pretty much from here i'll be dragging and dropping text on this flyer to speed up this process okay so i'll drag and drop this text just here to take up this other space here and that's really cool for this i'm going to take it up a little around there that's cool then take up this whole state by close here and make sure it's centralized okay then i need to create a shape where i'm going to place the date so for this i'm going to click on my polygon tool and click on my canvas so i can set the number of sides to six and hit on okay so we have something that looks like this i can reduce this like that and that looks really cool okay so using your pen tool you can press control on your pen tool and click on this point hold shift and drag it inside just like that so once you get this next thing you want to do is to create a shape just like this so i'm going to create a shape that is almost the same height with this okay so i'm going to ensure it's the same height just like that okay so on this other one i'm going to duplicate this and press ctrl t to transform and flip horizontally then i'll place it this other way so we have something that looks like this i'm going to weld the shapes together select all the layers and press ctrl e to weld all together so you can press ctrl t to transform increase the size hold shift 
and increase it this way. So this is really, really cool. Place it at the center here and it's on. Okay. So once you get this, we can now colorize this by giving it a color overlay and then I'm going to give it a red color just like that. Then for the stroke, we're going to take off the stroke so we don't need any stroke here. So for the date, I'm going to duplicate this particular text and take it to the top layer then bring it down a little and then let me give it a color just like so i'm going to type december 25th okay december 25 2023 okay then i'm going to change the color to white and bring it down just like that and place it around here this is very cool and nice the time for this event can take under here and be around here just like that that's really cool and nice. Then I will drag and drop the venue icon and the venue just around here. Okay, that's that's cool. So I can reduce the size of this. And then I can spread out this venue again just like this. So I can have enough space under the design just like that. So you can reduce the size of this venue again. So we have something that looks like this. Then I'll drag and drop this last note under here just like that. So this is what we get. Next up, I'm going to bring in some stuff that will make this flyer to be visually appealing. And one of them is this Christmas ball. So I'm going to drag and drop it inside Photoshop. Then I'm going to send it to the back layer. So it's going to be around here. Okay, so place it around there. And then I'm going to place this Christmas ball here, just like that. That's cool. Then I'm going to add a layer max and brush around this, like this. Increase the brush size like that and brush around here make sure your brush is set to hardness zero so i can brush around here just like that then i'm going to duplicate this on this other side and then i'm going to click on the layer marks and brush around here just like that so we have something that looks like this next up i'm going to bring in this star around here and place it here and that's very Nice. Then I'm going to duplicate this and place it here. This time around, I'm going to reduce this one and place it here. And hit on. Okay. So on this one, I'm going to add a blur effect. Click on filter and go to where we have blur and then click on motion blur. So we're going to add the motion blur just like that. I like it at 24. That's cool. Hit on. Okay. So I'm going to add that same motion blur on this other one here. So I can hold out, hold on the smart filter and place on this other one. So we have something that looks like that. The logo will take the top area of this design just like that. So I'm going to reduce that. And place that around here just like that. And this is what we're going to do on this logo to make it visually appealing. I'm going to click on my rectangle tool and create a shape around this logo just like that that's cool then i'm going to make it curve a little just like that so i'm going to take this logo to the top and then i'm going to create a clipping max that simple if you can't use the shortcut by holding out and taking your cursor to the center of both layers and then create a clipping max you can simply right click on the logo and click on create clipping max so this is what we get. You can take off the stroke on the shape just like that. And then we're going to add shadow to the shape just like that. Okay, so now the shape has shadows. We can increase the shadow of the shape, increase the distance, and then increase the opacity of the shadow and hit on. Okay. Next up, I'm going to bring in this Christmas cap I have here and place it on top of the logo just like that. So I'm going to place it on top there. Oh my god. Okay, so then I'm going to place this around here. Okay. So let's let's see how it looks like. I'm going to flip this cap, then reduce the size of the cap. So we have something that looks like this. It's really okay. So this is really, really cool and nice. So finally, to spice up my Christmas flyer, I'm going to click on the top layer, press control, press alt, press shift, and press E. So what I'm going to do now, I want to add a camera raw filter on this flyer. So I'm going to click on filter, click on camera raw filter. Then I have a lot of camera raw filter presets I like to use here. So I'll just choose the one that is best 
for me on this design so i'm going to choose this one and hit on ok so with this i can export my design and send it to my client so we've come to the end of this tutorial and i must say you guys are so amazing thanks so much for sticking around to the very end and make sure you share this video with a friend and i will see you in the next one oh, don't forget to watch this video if you love to learn more about how to design flyers just like this one okay i'll see you next time